Hey guys, what's going on? So um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this origami jumping eel. And this is how it works. <laughs> it, it, flicks, it flips straight up like that for some reason if you flip it right. See? Oh my god, it, it goes really high too. And that's, I think that's really cool. It goes straight up and it goes so high. Oh, didn't do it right. Is that the... Whoa! The jumping eel. And it goes straight up and super high. Whoa, did you see that? It almost hit, it almost hit my lamp. <laughs> oh yeah! And just fell on the ground. Alright, would you like to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here it goes. Okay, so for this model, I'm going to use a six inch square of Kami. So, begin my side up. And let's fold in half. We're making a water bomb base. And fold in half this way. Okay, and fold up to the top. Okay, turn over and fold this point to here. And open the pocket and bring the sides together, and flatten. And there's the water bomb base. Okay. Now take this edge, and this edge, and fold it to the crease. Okay, and repeat on this side. Okay, and now take these two flaps and fold them up so the fold aligns with these edges here. Let's do one at a time. Okay, unfold. And take this corner and fold it to the intersection. Make sure you hold everything down too. And repeat on this side. Fold this point to here. Okay, like this. And turn over on this side, and let's repeat on this side. But on this side, let's not make that fold. Let's undo one flap, and fold this corner to... Let me get my pencil. We're gonna fold it to to this point right here. Okay, refold this flap and repeat on this side. Fold this corner to that point and hold the layers down so they don't slide. And make sure the fold aligns with the edge below. All right, so now uh, whichever side, if you unfold here, whichever side has this horizontal fold going all the way across, that is going to be the the eyes, so the side with the eyes. And the side without the crease, without the horizontal crease, that's going to be the bottom. So let's work on the eyes. So it's the side with the horizontal crease. See? Like that. Okay, let's work on the eyes. So take this corner and fold it to here and also on this side too. But it's easy to do one at a time. Okay, now open and squash. Okay, and fold the point up like this. And repeat on this side. Okay, like that, and there's the eyes. Now, fold this like this, and take this flap and fold it right over this edge. Okay, and repeat on this side. 
Just fold it over the edge, like that. Okay, now unfold it in a particular manner. Well, just unfold it and make it stick straight up, like this. See? Like that. And there's the eyes. And now just kind of just... Um, this is going to be the, the bottom right here. You can just curve it like this. Okay, see? There, that's good. That's a nice face right there. Alright, and now, let's make the jumping mechanism to make it jump. So we're going to curve it into an eel. So you're trying to do that. So, this, this is really up to you. But just try and match what I do. I don't have a, an exact guide mark for this particular part. But we're just making it curved. And, d and don't make any folds on this because we want it to have some spring so it'll jump nice and high. See? So this part is nice and thick, and that's good. So make a couple curves, like what I'm doing, just eyeball what I'm doing. So make a curve to, like, right about there. And a valley, like, right here, like, a curve. And then make another curve, like this. Okay. See? And really, just do it to taste. Shape it to taste. Okay. And now, let's test it out. So you want the tail right here to uh, be on the, the desk. And then you just have to just hold it like this. Just hold it against the, the desk or table. And try and make it jump. Let's see. Make some more curvature there. Oh, it just hit the camera. And it, it just jumped. So when you're recording, I think it's best to show off to an angle. So let me move my camera real quick. Oh, yeah. So you want your finger to slip off and hit the table. That's that's the key there. So you have to do it like just right, like this. Oh, see, I did it just right like that. And just. So it doesn't really go, it, it doesn't jump like what a jumping frog does, it doesn't just go off to a distance. This, this model actually goes straight up for some reason, which I actually think is pretty cool because it goes really high up. But yeah, just... Oh my god, this thing jumps so high. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are going to like this model. Hopefully this video gets a lot of likes. We'll see. Oh, it jumped but didn't go very high because I didn't jump it quite right. Whoa. But yeah, you can't hold it down too hard. You have to, like, do it lightly. Oh, and it just went backwards. Alright. Well, hope you guys were able to fold this and were able to make it jump. And if you did manage to do that, well, I'd like to see videos of it. And once you made your video, you can make a comment below. And you can put your demo link in your comment below so I can go click on it and check out your demo. And... I can probably comment on it too. Alright, well, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys later.